Hi everyone. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you about running the Metroid 4 platform as an administrator when you are using uh, Windows Vista or Windows uh, 7. Uh, what we picked up were three specific errors that uh, three different users have experienced uh, when using Windows Vista or Windows 7. And in each of these cases, uh, what actually turned out to be uh, causing the error was uh, the fact that the uh, trader was not using um, the Metroid 4 platform as an administrator or running it through an administrator account on his uh, computer. So uh, let me just tell you a little bit about uh, the errors that uh, we've had so far. Uh, one of the errors was um, for a user who, when trying to open a, an order, the sell and buy buttons were grayed out. Okay. Now, I haven't been able to replicate any of these errors on my side. I've just got one administrator account on my computer. But uh, your computer may have many different accounts. And depending on where you are, maybe in the office or at home, you may not have access to an administrator account. Now, if that is the case, uh, you might experience one of these errors over here. Now, the first one that we picked up was the uh, trader could not place uh, buy or sell orders. Uh, the buttons were grayed out. Okay. Another scenario we picked up was with the Arbitro uh, Expert Advisor. If we press F7. One of the things we picked up was that uh, other users or another user was unable to edit uh, these fields. So no matter how many times you double clicked on these fields uh, for your username and password, you were unable to change them or make any changes to them. The last or the most recent uh, scenario we picked up was when opening a new account. Okay, When opening a new account, even if you had selected the, t the tick box, the uh, next button would be grayed out and you would not be able to, to click on that or to proceed to open a new account. Okay, So those are the three uh, scenarios that we've picked up so far. There may be more and you know, as we come across them, we'll, we'll let you know about it. But if you do encounter any of these, there's an easy way to actually fix this. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, open up your Explorer and go to my computer. All right, you want to go to your hard disk drive or your C drive, and then you want to scroll down until you find Program Files uh, x86. Once you're in here, scroll all the way down until you find the Tridology FX folder. Here you can see I've got two because I've got two instances of the uh, platform installed. So the one running right now will be FX2. No, sorry. Okay, so the one we're running right now will be Tridology FX. All right, once you're in this folder, oops, we are looking for terminal.exe and the type would be an application. All right, so that's the file you're looking for. All you've got to do, right click on that file, click on properties, click on compatibility, and right here at the bottom, under privilege level, click as run this program as an administrator. Okay, then click on apply, and click on OK. And so the next time you log into your trading platform, uh, the error should be resolved. Um, so far, in each of the cases that we ha that we have encountered, um, running the application as an administrator has resolved the issue. So if you do pick up anything, um, please be sure to let us know, and maybe we can help you uh, try to resolve this error. Uh, for those of you who do encounter these uh, scenarios, try this out. It works every time so far, and I'm sure it'll work for you. So um, that's it for me. Um, thanks for joining me, and I hope you learned something new in this video, and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye for now.